Hi, I'm Gary Barber, Superintendent of the Marion City Schools. And on today's segment, we're going to feature four young ladies who've done a tremendous job, not only in their athletic events this winter, but also in the classroom and by leading an example. All four of these young ladies have certain things in common. Um, they, they all have tremendously supportive families. They've all been aided by coaches and, and support staff here at Harding that have, that have helped them get to the, the place they are athletically. And they all, they all have been super leaders and have taken ownership in their sports and in their academics here at Harding. So our, our first one up today is Shania. Um, Shania, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself. My name is Shania Byrne. I am a junior here at Harding. I have bowled since I was four. Okay, and Shania was only the second bowler ever in the history of, of Marion Harding to qualify for the state tournament. Uh, tell me how that felt, bowling on the, at the pinnacle stage down in Columbus. I was pretty nervous. I, I saw I wasn't going to do well. And then I have coaches, family, friends that, that cut me out. You know, it was great to see how many people were there rooting you on. And I don't think anybody is as intense as your dad in watching you bowl. I mean, your dad just seems to, to, to grimace with every, with every single ball you roll. Um, has he always been been that way? Yeah, he's been like that since I was little. Every fourth that I do, he's always down on the floor yelling at me. Good. So tell me, to, to, to reach a level like this, you said you started bowling, bowling at four years old. Who, who introduced you to the sport? My grandpa. I was four. I had always wanted a bowling playpen to play with. And I told my grandpa I was going to be a bowling star when I grow up. And I finally got the door I have only dreamed of, and I finally got this far. So what I do every summer, I practice with my grandpa. So. That's great. And you know what? From, from my perspective, I could say a couple of things. You look so athletic on the lanes. And, but probably more impressively, in watching you at the state level competition, I just saw you operate on an even keel. And I believe all your games, I, I thought you rolled really well, and you placed Seventh out of 104. Yeah, seventh in the state of Ohio. And that's a heck of an accomplishment. Can you talk about your goals for next year? My goal for next year is to practice over the summer on spare shooting and practice not to give up. Even though if I miss one frame, I just keep going and keep fighting for it. Okay, you know, first of all, we're very proud of you. Um, I was a bowler in my day. And uh, I don't know, perhaps maybe, I think I might have a shot at beating you. Nah, nah, I don't think that'll happen. <laughs> how about how about trying a game and let's just see how I do. All right, I do. Harding's Olivia Davis. Olivia, I believe all district in volleyball, okay, a star on her basketball team, and then this winter, uh, breaking the school high jump record. How do you stay balanced in three competitive sports? Um, so I just keep up with my schedule and make sure I stay on top of things and get things done in time and try my hardest. Tell me what you were thinking about when that bar set at the school record. I was thinking, I can do it. And then I went and did it, and I was like, oh my gosh, I really did it. <laughs> I was surprised. Because, you know, track, going from team sports to individual sports, and there's so many things to think about is within a high jump. You have the approach, you have the explosion, you have the arch. What, what, what do you think is your best attribute? Um, probably explosion, my ability to jump. Absolutely. You know, there was a, a picture I took of you during volleyball when your arm was about this high above the net this season, and you are one of the most explosive athletes I've seen. How'd you get that explosiveness? Well, I think a lot of it is just natural ability, but after I discovered that I can jump high, I took it and ran with it, and a lot of training, a lot of agility, and weights, lifting. And you balance in show choir, too? Yeah, I dance. Yeah, you stay busy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I always see your mom sort of pacing the high jump pit 
is your darling. It seems like you have a very supportive mom. Yeah. Yeah, can you talk a little bit about maybe how she played a part in your life and your athletic ability? Yeah. Well, in middle school, before I was even interested in sports, I didn't even start sports until seventh grade, she told me, play volleyball. It's like cheer, because I used to do cheer, and I love cheer. And she said, you need to wear bows and you do cheers. I was like, okay, I'll, I'll play volleyball. So then volleyball season ended, and everyone was like, well, now it's time for basketball season. And I'm like, well, I'll play basketball too. All well, my friends are playing basketball, so I played basketball. And then during the spring, everyone played softball, and they had all played softball before. And I was like, I've never played softball. My mom's like, do track. She was we are a track family. Everyone in our family's on track. Do track. It's just like cheerleading. High jump is exactly like cheerleading. It's Good. just like tumbling. And I was like, okay. So I tried yeah. track and stuck with Good. it. And I think mom's giving you some great advice. What's your goals for next year? Um, for basketball and volleyball, I really want to make district player of the year, and at least first team all district. And I want to score a thousand points. And then track, I definitely want to make it to state and set the high jump record higher than what I have it now. Good. Good. And you know, I'm, I've learned a lot about you that, that I didn't know. Let me share something about me. You know, I was the first person ever in my high school to dunk in a, in a game. Really? I was. I have unbelievable ups. Matter of fact, I think my ups can challenge yours. How about taking me on in a dunk contest? Okay. All right, let's go. here with another one of our great student athletes, Fallon, and uh, Fallon, I, I, I got to say, um, that tournament game, you have the opportunity as a sophomore yeah. to come this close to breaking the school record in points scored, um, setting the record for free throws in a game, and then also coming this close to threes in a game. Tell me a little bit about that experience. Well, last time we played them, we got beat by 16, and I only had two points, and I just it was just everybody contributed. I think we ended up with 73 points as a team, and it was just a great game. Had fun. You know, one of the things that I've, I've really noticed about you in, in the game of basketball is you are one of the most fluid athletes that I've seen, you know, play the game in a long, long time. Everything seems to be smooth with you. Your ball handling, uh, the way you cut, and definitely, by the, way, by the way you stroke it. Talk to me a little bit about how that happened. Well, my dad, um, he really enjoys basketball, and he makes sure that he makes sure that we're like in the gym every single night to work on everything, and he puts us through. My brother and I through workouts. Good. So, wh when did you start playing basketball? Probably, probably ever. I probably was dribbling a ball since I could walk, and I used to play for Upward, the little Upward program, mm -hmm. in like third grade. And then, since we don't have a basketball program here, well, we do now, but whenever I was in middle school, sixth, well, through fourth and sixth grade, I played for Ridgedale because I used to live in Ridgedale District. And then I played seventh and eighth grade. Good. I see you have supportive parents. Yeah. I know your brother plays at the middle school level. Mom's a teacher mm -hmm. in our district. Um, and now your uncle is going to be joining us yeah. as the head boys basketball coach in Don Worstall. So I, I don't think you have any other choice but. Mm -hmm. To concentrate on basketball, huh? Yeah, I guess. So let me ask you another question. You're such a good athlete. Uh, you, ch you play tennis and basketball. Uh, in the spring, what's your focus? Um, I play AAU. We just travel around Ohio mostly. Sometimes we go out of state and just to be doing something in the off season. Yeah, and I'll, I'll say that you don't get a, develop a shot or a stroke like Fallon has without a tremendous amount of practice. You know, I was a basketball player in high school, and um, they didn't have the three-point line. And if they would have, I think I would have been on that thousand-point board. What do you think you take me on in a, in a three-point shooting contest? We have Coach Kern be our rebounder, and let's just go best of five in, in 15 seconds. It's fun. You up for the challenge? Yeah. Let's go do it. Sweet. 
Ashley with Lindsay. Ashley, you're, you're sort of a pioneer here. Um, first year we have gymnastics, you qualify for the state tournament. Second year we have, second year in gymnastics, qualify for the state tournament. Obviously you didn't just get here um, over the last two years. Talk about a little bit about your background and in training that went into such a difficult and challenging sport. Um, I've been in the gym since I was two years old. My sister, she did gymnastics, so I wanted to be just like her. So I've been doing it for almost 16 years, and it's been a huge part of my life. Yeah, so tell me about after school, how much time gymnastics takes up? During the um, competition season, I was in the gym some nights, six hours after school, and then other nights, four hours, and sometimes less than that. Well, what else besides the gymnastics piece goes into your training? Um, a lot of strength, you need a lot of workouts and conditioning and a lot of flexibility. Yeah, I had a chance to, to see at the state tournament and I sat next to your parents and the entourage mm -hmm. and um, from Harding cheering you on and you know, mom's there with the iPad and dad um, was very intense in, in watching you perform. They had to have played a, a huge part in your success. They did. They were supporting me in every competition. They were yeah. a huge part of it. Let's talk about goals for next year. Um, my goals are I would like to make it to state again and improve all my scores and hopefully make a better competition at state. Great. And I bet, I bet you'll be there. <laughs> you know, when I was in college, um, part of physical education is I had to take a gymnast gymnastics course. <laughs> and uh, i got to admit, I didn't do too bad. Um, what do you think about challenging me to a floor routine? Sure. All right, good. Let's go. A little help. 